Hi guys, in today's video I will show you a graph types and how they work. So here I'm in a graph editor already and my graph type is a value graph. Another type is a speed graph which I usually do not use, I use it in some cases only. The value graph is way better and easier to control the whole speed and I think speed graph type is not needed, except some cases of course. I know how wild can be value graph for a beginner and a speed graph seems easier for some of you, but believe me, it's not that hard to understand the value graph and today I will show you the basic of how it works. Let's select the curve and then let's drag that yellow handle up. Now I sped up the beginning only, so the video will go fast and then will slow down at the ending. Let's check it. Now let's move it back down to give it a normal speed and then I will drag that second handle all the way down. That means that my video will go slow at the beginning and then it will speed up at the end. That's how you make a speed in or out in a value graph type. Let me show you a speed graph type as well. I will reset the graph and now let's make an out curve type. I will drag that left handle all the way right and also another handle as well. Note, you can control the smoothness of the second handle, or how you want it to go out, in my case the curve is too sharp and it means it will be 100% speed up and there is no smoothness at all. Now let's make it opposite, I will speed up at the beginning, so make sure to drag both handles to the left side. I use speed graph when I make a very basic effect and when I just need a harsh speed in or out curve. Note, don't use the speed graph when you make a speed ramped video, cause your clips won't look smooth, always use a value graph to control the speed of the videos. Let's say value graph is more advanced and you have more abilities to control the speed. Speed graph type is mostly used for animating the text speed, or for example to control the speed of the effect, but not the clip. Let's go back to value graph now and let's make a speed ramp for example. I will make simply speed ramp curve that I show you in the most of my tutorials and you already know how it looks like, but I want to answer on your the most asked question. How the curve should look like, I will try to answer as basic as possible. That type of curve is used to make a speed ramps and the video will go fast, then slow down and go fast in the end. In my case this curve is too harsh, I mean the video is not smooth at the beginning and the ending as well, cause if you look at the handles they all are straight and there is no smoothness at all and if we play back the video we will see that the video goes really fast in and goes really fast out. Now let me show you how to smooth the beginning and the ending as well. By simply slightly dragging yellow handle down, I have smoothened the beginning of the video, let's smooth the ending as well. This type of graph is used to make a smooth in and outs. And now let me answer on your question, which graph type is correct and which to use in your video. Both curves are correct, it's not about which curve you will use, it's all about the music you will use, if the song is not too crazy with its beat drops, you can use a smooth curve, but if the music is going crazy and you think that your video should be harsh, make the curve harsh as well. Hope I have explained it easy, in case you will have any questions, feel free to ask, if this video was helpful, please like this video.